Hello. Today, we will be presenting a demonstration of the Allure Collaborative Rubik's Cube Solver. Our system consists of an automatic solver deep cube based on deep reinforcement learning and an explainable module that uses inductive logic programming. It also has an interactive chatbot built with the Rasa platform and keeps track of users' learning goals and progress. On the left-hand side of the screen, we can see the model of our Rubik's Cube, and on the right-hand side, we have our chatbot, Allure. The bot will teach us how to solve the white cross for the given scrambled state of the cube. Before moving on to solve the cube, Allure teaches us all the basic conventions of the cube. Each 3x3 Rubik's Cube has three horizontal layers, top, middle, and bottom layer. While teaching various conventions, it also asks for user feedback. In this case, as we do not have any questions, we choose no. Each flat surface of the cube is considered a face, and each face is a different color, hence consisting of six faces with six different colors, white, red, blue, green, orange, and yellow. Along with different faces, it has three different types of pieces, centerpiece, edge piece, and corner piece. Center pieces are single colored tiles fixed to the internal core. When correctly solved, each face will be the color of its centerpiece. Edge pieces have two colored tiles, and on a 3x3 three three cube, there are 12 of them. The corner pieces have three colored tiles, and there are eight of them on a 3x3 three three cube. Each different cube face is represented by a letter, and those letters are used to define the clockwise and counterclockwise moves for those faces. The faces and their corresponding letter representations are U for the up face and D for the down face, L for the left face and R for the right face, F for the front face and B for the back face. For clockwise moves, we just use the letter representation for the face that should move. For example, if one wanted to turn the front face clockwise, that would be represented as F. For counterclockwise moves, we use the letter representation with an added apostrophe for the face that should move. Following the previous example, if one wanted to move the front face counterclockwise, the move would be represented as F dash or F prime. After completing the basics of the Rubik's Cube, now the user asks the bot to teach it how to solve the Rubik's Cube. Solving a Rubik's Cube consists of various sub-goals. The sub-goal we'll be solving in this demo is the white cross, which involves getting the white-orange, white-green, white-red, and white-blue edge pieces in place. To get one of these edge pieces in place, the white side of the edge piece has to be aligned with the white center piece, and the color side of the edge piece would align with the same colored center piece. For example, to align the white green edge piece, the white edge would align with the white center piece, and the green edge would align with the green center piece. At the end of the sub goal, there would be a white cross on the up face, and the center piece of the orange, green, red, and blue faces will have the same color tile directly above it. Let us solve a problem. Here is the initial state, and here is where we want to be, our goal state. We can automatically solve it But how did the system figure it out? The system can explain. In the given configuration, we can see the white-orange edge piece is not in place, as the white side is aligned with the orange centerpiece and the orange side is aligned with the yellow centerpiece. To get the edge piece in place, we need to first align the edge piece away from the orange centerpiece by turning the down face counterclockwise. Now we want to align the orange side of the edge piece with the orange centerpiece by turning the front face counterclockwise. Further, we want to bring the white-orange edge piece in place by turning the right face clockwise. Finally, we bring the white-green edge piece in place by turning the front face clockwise. We have now solved the white cross for the Rubik's Cube. Here's another example of Allure solving a scrambled Rubik's Cube for white cross. Thank you.